All right, so now what we're going to do is starting at the shorter edge, one of the short sides, you're going to start to roll, just kind of like we did with the puppy's body, right? So you're going to roll all the way till you hit the middle. And you're going to want to make it pretty firm, just like we did with the dog, okay? So you're going to roll all the way till you get about halfway down. Then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So you're going to grab your other edge and you're going to roll that about halfway down. And it's going to touch with the other one in the middle like this. So kind of like with the puppy, except it's a shorter roll this time, right? And you're going to have that crack running down the middle again, that crease down the middle. All right. And what you're going to do when you have your two rolls is flip them over, just like we did with the dog's body. So you're going to flip them onto the other side so that your smooth side is facing up. have to roll on the floor, isn't it? Everything unrolls when you roll the other side. All right, so now what we're going to do is mark the center again with the side of your hand. So just marking it with your hand, you're going to fold it in half again. So just like with the puppy, but this time it's a shorter roll, right? So you're folding more fabric in half. So you're just going to fold it over, fold it in half so it looks like this so far. Okay, and this is going to be the body of this animal. So we're going to put that aside for now. Just set it along a side. Just like this, okay? So it's going to become the body. So right now we have four legs that we're just going to place aside for now, okay? Any guesses so far as to what this might turn into? Elephant. An elephant? A teddy bear over there? Well, we'll soon see. I said it would be a surprise, so I won't give it away just yet, but... All good guesses, elephant, teddy bear. We're gonna find out soon what it's gonna turn into. Okay, now what we're gonna do, obviously, to make the head is use this smaller towel again, right? We always use the hand towel to make the head of the animal. So what we're gonna do with the hand towel is fold it in half. This time, folding it in half down this way. So instead of folding it the long way, you're gonna fold it so it looks like a square. All right, so you've got it folded perfectly in two to form a square. You're going to place it also again with the folded part at the top. Okay, so you want to make sure that the two flaps are closest to you and that the folded part of the towel is at the top end. All right. And you're just going to start at the bottom right-hand corner. Now what you're going to do with the bottom right-hand corner is start to roll it pretty tightly, okay? So you're just going to start at the little tip. Okay, so this is a little bit difficult. You're actually rolling both corners at the same time. So you can see why is doing it. Yep, you're folding both of them just at the same time. All right, and you wanna stop when it looks like this. Okay, so once you have a pointed edge, pointed end like this, you're going to bring these two ends together so it makes a pretty coiled up roll, it looks like, at the tip there. All right, and then these two ends should actually fan out. So it almost looks like the shape of a paper airplane, right? You've got a towel airplane, we should call it. You've got a rolled up edge on one side, then you've got two kind of wing tips pointing out like that. All right. Now, if anyone's struggling, give us a wave. This is usually the trickiest part of this animal, so don't fret if you're struggling. We can come around and help you guys. All right, looking good so far. Perfect. So far, so good. All right, so does everyone have something that looks like this? Thumbs up. Give us the thumbs up if you've got it, if you're ready to move on. Oh my goodness, you're a great class. You're qualified to work as a stateroom steward if you've got that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is pick it up so that the pointed edge is pointing down. All right, so you want to pick it up in your hands. You're going to have these two wing tips at the top. You're going to have the rolled edge at the bottom pointing down like this. All right, what we're going to do, this is a little bit tricky. We're going to grab this straight edge of material and just bring it down to the middle. 
Okay, so you're just gonna pull it right down, right to the middle. So it's opening up these two edges like this. All right, so all we're doing is just grabbing it, bringing it down to the middle like this. And once you've got it down to the middle, what Wyatt has done is just kind of wrapped it with his hand. He's just kind of wrapped it around the face so far like this. And you can use your hands to just pull it tightly at the back. So you've got it stretched right across flat like this. We'll come around and just make sure you all got this one. All right, anybody else want us to come around and check? We can come and check. Yeah, we'll just come around. You put up your hand to come around. Anyone else need a check? Looking good. I see a lot of heads taking shape. We'll come around and check. Looks good so far. Do you know what it's going to be at this point? Elephant. An elephant. Yes, right? It's starting to look like the head of an elephant. Okay, so it is going to be an elephant. So what we're going to do is form the trunk of the elephant, right? So we're going to just take the bottom and kind of roll it. You can kind of chunk like that. And you can make sure that the ears are looking good, that they're nice floppy elephant ears, right? You can kind of form those with your fingers, use your hand to get those nice and pointy, floppy elephant ears. And the funny thing about the trunk is if you curve it hard enough, it should actually stay. So it'll actually hold that curve. All right, so you've got your elephant's head, and now it's time to put it on the body, right? We don't want to leave our elephant headless. So don't forget about the body. So you're gonna take the head and you're just gonna put it in between that curve. So right in between the two sets of legs. You're just gonna stick it on the top like that. So it's got its arms wrapping around. It looks like it's gonna give a big elephant hug, basically, right? Looking good. I love this one, it's got a cell phone and flip flops. <laughs> It's ready to call home, and it's sale and sign card. It's ready to hit the bar, too. Nicely done. So as you can see, you can accessorize your elephants, right? I see one ready to hit the beach. It's got its sunglasses on over there. Let's see this side. Looking good. Lots of great little elephants. Nicely done. This elephant has passed out. It drank too much last night, right? All right, give yourselves a round of applause.